guys, Dutch here. So if you don't already know, the other day, July 7th, was my birthday. So for my birthday, I got one of the greatest gifts ever and I want to share it with you guys. I am going to be doing the Ancestry.com DNA test. So find out heritage, um, things like that, where family is from, possibly relatives that I don't know about. So just to let you in on a little background really quick, I was adopted at birth and I have an amazing family that raised me and took care of me and I love them and, and I consider them my mom and my dad and my brother. And But I was always curious on finding out who was on my biological side. So for years and years and years, I searched and searched. It's very hard to do before there was internet, but I tried and tried to talk to other relatives of mine to see if they had inf any information and, and went through all of these journeys trying to find out information. Uh, about five years ago, I actually found my biological mother and found out I have a half sister and a half brother. So that's amazing. I love them so much and we get along great and it was an amazing reunion and I couldn't have asked for anything more but I still don't know all of my heritage and like I said there could be more relatives out there if you guys are interested in reading about my journey and everything I went through to actually find my biological family I have written a blog and I will add the link in the description of this video down below. So now I am going to learn Ancestry DNA. So here is the box. They send you this box in the mail. Inside the box, we're going to open this and see what's going on. So they give you this card and it explains how to do everything for the kit and it starts off that you have to activate your kit online and enter the 15 digit activation code from the collection tube. You can just go through it, how to gather DNA um, and what to do with the tube and everything. Then the rest of the box, you've got this little envelope, the collection bag. Here is the tube that you spit in to collect your DNA. At first I thought it was a swab, but I guess you have to spit into a tube and fill it up to the little black line, which don't worry, I will spare you. You guys do not have to watch me spitting into a tube. And then they send you a box to prepaid, which is nice, um, to mail it all back in with. And it says it takes six to eight weeks for you to get your results. So we are going to be doing this and I will be sharing with you guys exactly step by step. So let's get started. Okay, so just to let you know, I got on to Ancestry, I registered my um, or activated my DNA kit here and you missed the the wonderful spitting in the tube so I'm letting you know so you're supposed to f spit this much and they say on here it's less than a quarter of a teaspoon but here's the thing it takes <laughs> it's a lot so um, you get dry mouth when you're doing this so now I have put on the solution and tightened it so the solution went into this little tube and now you're supposed to shake the tube for at least five seconds so that's what I'm doing here right now and it says this will ensure your sample mixes thoroughly with the stabilizing solution so our lab can best process your sample so I'm guessing it's been five seconds I've been talking the whole time so now, I'm just going to do a few extra shakes just in case. Um, so now you place the tube into the collection bag, which I have over here. 
let me let me repeat that when they say it's not that much it's a quarter of a teaspoon it's it's dry mouth trying to get that filled and it doesn't include bubbles so remember that if you're doing this it says that it must be above the line not including bubbles and apparently you have a lot of bubbles when you spit so I am going to I'm still a little dry mouth right now I am going to stick it in the bag and get it all set up to mail it and I will let you guys know when I get the results and I can't wait so it might be a few weeks like I said it said it took six to eight weeks to receive your results and um, so when I get it I will let y'all know and if you guys have any questions any comments just leave a comment below this video I will leave a link to my blog on what I went through in my adoption search and have a great day guys.